Hey everyone, uh, this is just a short video on how to get better battery life in your on your Steam Deck. Um, it's pretty simple, but it does require sacrifice. Um, for uh, this demo, we're using No Man's Sky. If you look in the top left, I have uh, game scope open. And if you hit, see here, we're using about 19.2 watts, 18.8, and we're getting about an hour, 45 minutes of battery, which at 80%, that's not great. Um, so we're going to see what we can do to improve this and uh, increase our battery life a bit. So first off, um, Steam Deck has a really great built-in uh, resolution scaler. Uh, it uses AMD FSR, so um, you can lower the uh, the game resolution. Uh, or in this case of No Man's Sky, it actually has FSR built in. Which, if the game has FSR built in, you should use the built in uh, implementation. So we're going to go down to quality, apply that, and you can see the game still looks pretty good, at least in my opinion. And you can see our wattage is going down steadily. 17.6, 17.3, 17.2, 16.9, and as that goes down, our battery life will go up. So the goal is to get that battery life, uh, or that wattage, as low as possible. So we're already in the 15 range, uh, and that's a pretty big jump. Uh, from, from 19 to 15, that, that gets you about another half an hour. Um, if we're looking at the, if we went from two, for, from uh, one hour and forty-five minutes to about two hours and uh, nineteen minutes now, and we're still climbing. Another thing you can do is go into Steam's own performance tab and cap your frame rate. If we go down to thirty now, we're going down even sharper. So now we're down to thirteen, twelve, and we're going to keep going down and see where we land. Alright, looks like we're leveling out at about the 10.9, 11 watts range, and that's three hours. So we went from one, one hour and 45 minutes up to over three hours now. Same game, still a very playable experience in my opinion. Uh, no Man's Sky isn't a high action game in my experience, or not always, so. You can, you can sacrifice the battery life, or sorry, the frame rate, uh, in my opinion, on this game and still get a very playable and pleasant experience. Now, another thing you can do is if the game supports dynamic resolution and you really want to go far with it, you can go in here and you can change the manual GPU clock control and you can turn that down. And as you turn that down, that's going to limit how hard the GPU can work. Once you go down low enough, the, the, the game's going to go, oh, we're losing power. You know, cut the, cut the resolution to keep the frame rate up. So you'll still get the same frame rate, but the resolution will dynamically go lower, and it'll maintain a, a level of performance that's consistent, and your battery life will go up. Anyways, that's just a short little video. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that. Um, because a lot of people have been complaining about the battery life on this system. And, you know, I get it, but, you know, th with the system, the power is in your hands to control the battery life. So, if you notice, we're, we're at three hours at 79%. That's significantly better than, you know, two hours at, at you know, max. So, I, you know, an, an extra hour of gameplay for a slight resolution cut and a, uh, a frame rate cut, I think that's worth it in this game. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.